So you're here in Belmont uh, to discuss the launch of the Small Town Love program. I guess my first question would be, what is Small Town Love? Uh, small Town Love is a movement uh, that supports independent businesses in small towns across the north for now and hopefully across the country. Uh, we do creative marketing initiatives with independent small businesses. Uh, right now we have a website, we have done book projects, we've done different types of events and the projects we're working with uh, with Northern Development are website projects for small towns. Specifically in Valemount, it's uh, lovevalemount.com which is a, an initiative that really seeks to showcase Valemount's independent businesses in a new way to introduce the business owners to the community, to introduce uh, what they're doing to the community in a new way. And uh, specifically that's through the website right now, but there may be other projects in the future that we're really excited about. Why did Valemount decide to become involved in this program? If I may start right away and say a couple things. First of all, all the programs that we partnered with the Northern Development Initiatives Trust, they have been really excellent programs. I can give you some examples. For instance, in the past uh, with NDIT, we've been able to fund the building of the Visitor Information Center. We've been able to, we received a big contribution for the downtown revitalization project. And these are some of the major projects. And then of course, over the years also, we had the chance to partner with minor programs. And one excellent program that also the NDIT started this year was to hire uh, uh, new uh, young students who had just kind of finished their uh, college and university years and start with them an internship program. And Katie would be one example and she has been working out with us for some time and I wish she could work longer with us but unfortunately she will have to go to McBride for some <laughs> the next part because we could only afford yeah. her for half a year not for the full year. And uh, having here somebody like uh, Katie that had also some done some work with NDIT previously before coming to Weymouth, uh, that gave us the opportunity to work on new programs. And one of the new projects was the Love, uh, the Love Weymouth project. And here I must say, when we heard about it, uh, we made a brief presentation to Mayor and Council and they were totally in favor because they really support the concept of community development and supporting small business. And that's why now I pass on the word to, to Katie because then she really started with the project, the initial phase, and of course carrying it on all the way where we are at right now. Yeah, um, part of my internship I spent a month at Northern Development and they brought Amy Corey in um, to give us a presentation on what she'd been doing in Quinnell and there were six of us interns and the program just blew us away, it was so interesting and when um, Northern Development mentioned that they were looking to push it out to communities in the north um, after being in Valmont, I just thought that this was the perfect community to see it in. And this is a pilot program, I understand, a pilot project that uh, has been development. It's a partnership between Northern Development Initiative and uh, yourself, I guess. Uh, how did that uh, come together? Northern Development's uh, role is really about building a stronger north and one of the things that's uh, fundamental to small communities is the strength of their independent businesses. And uh, when Northern Development did look for a bi-local program, uh, we found that one of the very best was in our own backyard in Quinnell with Amy Quarry. So we partnered with her to do a pilot with six communities across the north. So the partnership is to bring the small town love model to six other communities in northern British Columbia. Okay, and can you expand on that a little bit? What are the other six communities uh, involved? We're, uh, we're launching um, in Burns Lake, in Vanderhoof, in Fort St. James, in Hunter Mile, and also Logan Lake as well as Valemount. Okay, well that leads me to my next question. How did Valemount become involved in this program and, and why, why is it a good fit? Uh, we, we were looking at communities under populations of 5,000 and Valemount certainly fits that criteria. Um, it's always a bit more difficult for smaller towns and entrepreneurs in smaller towns who make quite a significant investment um, in bricks and mortar and uh, in, the, in the business itself to have a smaller catchment area of, of um, customers. So we felt that to provide them with a very professional way of marketing was something that was um, useful for smaller communities and a lot, uh, a lot more important because the larger communities have a larger center of customers. So what are the benefits for uh, Melmount businesses for being involved in the program? 
I think a web presence is a really interesting part of it. I also, the part of the program that really appeals to me is that it's a group of businesses all coming together to be a part of one thing. So it's really, it's the business community coming together as a community. And I think that that's going to help um, businesses kind of feed off each other and support each other through Valmont as well as through the other six communities that are part of this program. And as mm -hmm. Katie mentioned, the web present is really that first uh, step that for many small businesses sometimes it's difficult to take. Right, there are some technical aspects, there are some cost aspects. It's not that difficult, but still, it's an additional worry to start your own business or to carry on with your business. And as we also found out today, the excellent aspect of this is somebody can buy their own domain name and then redirect the domain name to the web page that will be developed by NDIT and with this program. And so they will have a really professionally done page. And we have already seen some of these kind of products that were developed by Amy Quarry and they're really excellent from a graphic designer point of view, from a usability point of view, so they're really very good. Why should businesses get involved? Well, for them it's a very affordable um, way to get on the, the net. Um, those businesses and small businesses also have challenges with their, their marketing budgets and uh, this program allows them to have an internet presence if they don't have one. Um, it also, because of the critical mass of, of six communities and then obviously Quinell, so that's seven communities in the north, um, it becomes, uh, it becomes a, a, a movement and uh, we see that uh, it's not just about the local uh, business community supporting their businesses but but shoppers from Prince George who may decide to stop because they know that this is a small town love community. And so we'll start to see those in the larger um, uh, populations across the north stopping and taking advantage of, of some of those opportunities that, that the small towns offer. And there are some great, great little businesses that deserve our support. So Amy, I'm very curious, the original program, uh, can you talk about when did you get it started and how, you know, how, how did it work? How successful was it or is it? Well, I have owned a marketing and graphic design company uh, in Quinell for a few years, and I was meeting uh, some really amazing entrepreneurs who uh, had great stories and had uh, really interesting things going on in their businesses, and I kept running into people who just didn't know they existed, and I was constantly telling these stories to people, and I, I thought that there had to be a better way to get that out there. Uh, and so the first Small Town Love project we did in Quinell was actually a book. It was a Small Town Love guide, and uh, it had 50 businesses and some coupons in the back, and, and we launched in November of 2011. And from that, uh, we did build a website to support that project, and then it sort of snowballed from there. We've had a lot of interest from across the province uh, in the projects, and, and working with Northern Development is, is a great fit to actually be able to scale uh, this model to other places. Uh, it's really great to be working with economic development people in those towns. Um, and I, f I feel like Small Town Love is sort of this mix between community development and graphic design and marketing. It's sort of, uh, it doesn't really fully sit in either of those areas and, and sort of is a partnership between the two, which is what our partnership is with Northern Development. It's, it's grown really quickly in Quinell, it was really successful. Uh, we, the businesses that invested in the project um, sold their books and had a good return on their coupons and, and saw uh, a lot of benefits from it. Quinell had an increase in business license, new business license registrations the year after, as well as significant increase, and we, we saw lots of positive uh, effects in the community. I was really positively surprised how the Vermont small businesses responded to this initiative because within, I would say, two weeks we had almost 20, 25 businesses signed up for the program and that's excellent if you think small town. What's the, the plan for promoting this program? Well, we will be launching um, a, uh, an event in each of the communities. Uh, the website goes live on November the 1st with all six communities, so, and there will be certainly some media attention on that and some press releases, but um, each, of the, each of the communities will have their own launch so that you'll be able to meet the small, business, um, small businesses participating. In, um, in the Small Town Love program um, and inviting their customers and then um, we, we expect all eyes are on us as, as a matter of fact we've had a lot of uh, interest from the Lower Mainland and from other by local organizations that are that are watching us closely so we expect to have uh, have good uptake and a lot of interest. And we also have a, a local marketing plan. We have uh, Small Town Love as a company. We have an overall marketing plan uh, for our website but we also um, 
have a plan with the, uh, Katie and with the village to make sure that it gets promoted and make sure that people know about it. And also we're enlisting the help of the entrepreneurs who are participating to help spread the word. And um, Small Town Love is really about all of us working together to um, raise the profile of everyone all together. And so uh, we are relying on them to help get the word out about it as well. And they're very enthusiastic and have been telling people already uh, about the project and there's been a lot of talk about it already. So. Amy was mentioning that there will be uh, individual launches in each community. What is Belmont planning for the launch here? Um, we're looking into it still. It'll be sometime in November. Um, we're hoping to kind of um, make sure that this is, we want it to be big. We want everyone to know about it. We're hoping to push it with late night shopping um, and have a lot of interesting things so that everyone knows what's going on. Um, we'll definitely have more information coming soon about it. And in fact, another thing that we have been talking just today also at the information session is that probably we would like to go to the next stage and also develop a publication or a booklet with all the businesses in town here. And we could probably work also with the tourism committee and then have all these kind of um, publications ready in the hotels, in the BNBs. So when people come from out of town, of course, they also will have direct access to the information. Another option also could be to have probably some billboards on the highway and also there just focus on the web page because now we know how people when they travel they use their smartphones, their tablets and of course they probably may be bored enough <laughs> by just traveling and check what's in Weymouth and that could also be a very good occasion again to promote some of the local small businesses. And they're such unique businesses that I think it's going to be really great to pull people off the highway and have them go into these really interesting unique businesses that these local people put all of their energy into and own. We're really excited about this project as it is a pilot project and uh, we're hoping to expand the projects into other towns in the north, um, hopefully eventually the whole area, northern development area. Um, I'd love to see Small Town Love grow um, farther than that as well if, um, on a personal level with my company um, but this is a great start and it's a really huge opportunity I think and the fact that Valmont is able to be in at the beginning is a really exciting thing for your town as well I think. Yeah, Northern Development's delighted with the um, the uptake and the interest um, at the community level. Mm -hmm. Every one of the six communities has um, somewhere between 20 and 40 businesses participating. Um, so collectively, that's that's a lot of small business that we're supporting with this project. And, and the enthusiasm when we go from community to community has just been uh, phenomenal. And people are very excited about what's coming. And it can continue to grow, which is, I think, the most yeah. exciting part. One final thank you from, from, from the village's perspective to NDIT for supporting this kind of type of project. Yeah. Great. And, and to contact us if businesses want to be a part of this program because we'd love to make it as big as we can.